It's Victor from SecPoint.com with the SecPoint TCP multi-threaded port scanner. I'm now here on the SecPoint website and I go to products and then um, I go to free tools and then I go to the multi-threaded TCP port scanner. On this page here you can see the latest version, you can download it, you can see the full change log, you can see the history of older versions. The port scanner runs on Linux, it runs on Mac OS X, and as well on Windows. So when you run it on Windows, you just run the Windows binary file. Um, I'm here on a Linux. We can see right here it's uh, the, on the portable penetrator. And I'm going in the terminal section where I can run it right here. With the port scanner value. And uh, when you're running it, you see all the output and to get it on one page we can put in the more value and now we see all the different configuration values. As a default we aim to make the port scanner already have the best values. So when it's running a default it has 10 instances for the scanning instances. It has a scanning for 7500 of the most known ports. It is showing the services and more. So for example if you want to configure that you want to scan 65,535 ports, you put in the minus p value and 1 and to 65,535. Then you can do that. You can also put in the minus s to do a sim port scan and that is better against firewall systems. Uh, you can go in and change the waiting time and do other fine tuning. So to get some action, I will just put in here my IP address as we can see, and now I'm launching the default scan. Uh, you can see here it's a TCP scan, 10 instances, 1000 in waiting time, and not showing the MAC address. And here we have all the open ports and the different uh, resolved services. Um, and you can see here the scan took 15 seconds, it found 9 ports and it scanned totally 7473. And sometimes when you're doing the scans, it can be fast or slower depending on the network. Um, now we can also fine tune one of the values. And if we go back here, we can see minus n changes the instances. So we can put in n20. And uh, now it's running 20 instances. And then we see the scanning time will be faster than before. And we can see now it was 9.3 seconds. And this way you, you can go in and fine tune the values. You can also run the minus s value to do a sim scan. And, and it is very important to do port scanning. Because uh, if you have firewall protecting your network, you want to be able to do a port scan and see that all the ports that you think are open are the ones that are only open. So you make sure there are no unauthorized ports that are being open. You can also scan your internal systems and make sure you have a personal firewall running so you get an understanding that only the ports you want open on your network are open. So I hope you learned something in this video and to download the program just go in Google, put in SecPoint Port Scanner version 3.0 or you can go on the SecPoint site and download it. Thank you very much for your time.